You don't want to be parking in front of people's houses. You don't want to be blocking driveways. You don't want to be parking in front of farmers' gates. Yeah, it might sound crazy, but I have actually seen it happen. Don't be blocking people's views. Residential areas, some might say, well, you're not going to wild camp in a residential area, but a lot of stealth campers do, and I do know that a lot of people do do it. I've actually known people spend many a time in London and some of the bigger cities because it's much cheaper just taking your van up there and parking it up rather than staying in a hotel. But just make sure that you know what's around in the surroundings. I wish that I had listened to my dad and my mom and my friends and the internet when everybody said to put a window in the kitchen. Yeah, I also just wish that I had more windows in general. Uh, I've learned that I'm kind of somebody that tends to feel a little bit claustrophobic, not all the time, but especially when I'm working and it just gets really cluttered and crowded in here. And I wish that I could have more space. And what I've learned is that space is, it's a mental thing. Like it's its totally a mental game. The, the things that make a space feel large are the amount of windows, how wide the hallways are, how much space is above your head, and how low the bed is in a van conversion. And yes, I've thought long and hard about that for the last year and I've banged my head against a wall for the choices that I made when I didn't know that. Also, if you're a content creator or if you're somebody who wants to get into photography or you want to be able to photograph your van in a very, very pretty way, that's the equation. Something else as you're starting off to think about is keeping it simple. There's a tendency, you see all these beautiful videos and you think, oh, I want it to be like this or that. So if you've been watching my videos for any amount of time, you know what my setup looks like, but it didn't start off this way. So I'm thinking of doing a whole video of what I've changed since I started out. The idea is that for me, I had a wish list as I kind of went through videos and I know you guys do too. And it's something that we all do because we want things to be perfect. Your van will never be finished. I'm sure you've heard that plenty of times, but that is really true. I have changed a lot from the beginning. I do tend to like my setup now, but for me, what I found is that the simplest solution is the best solution a lot of times. So don't overthink it, make your lists and everything, but you'll see by trial and error that there are some things that you will love and keep and some things that you will kind of ditch the idea.